okay first thing first um let's talk about like booking your appointment so if you go to the nigerian um uh, high commission um, office website in canada you are able to um book a date for your renewal and um, what do they call it now your biometrics for you to do um capturing yeah that's what they use for you to do your capturing so you need to book a date i had and if you are going to do it if you need your passport maybe in three months time i would advise that you get to it now and try to find a date because finding a date it's not so easy so it's better to have a date or dates and you book ahead and cancel in my opinion than you not having a date and waiting till the last minute um also um i would have said also another reason why you should have a date and book a date way ahead of when you need it is because at times it takes them longer to send your passport i mean they've, they've had issues like oh there is no there's no network <laughs> they've had issues like oh um there is no booklet available so things like that make causes delay in you getting your passport back and that's the reason why you need to book um ahead and um have your so that you have time for them to send your passport back to you before the time that you need it um another thing that you should do is that um you should have your old passport ready and i've gotten a lot of questions asking about the nin yes the nin um is actually a mandatory requirement right now so even if you go there without your nin you're going to be sent back because it's a mandatory requirement and you're going to see it on the website also i'll try to leave the um website details and how you can get your nin also i don't make a video of it um right now and attach it to this or i'm gonna leave the links that you can access them and book dates for both nin and also for your um um capturing in the high commission at the high commission office um in canada so um the next thing i would say or i've gotten a question about is mode of transportation so it depends on where you are i went from ontario when i did it um and that's why I, it was easy for me to take a bus for sorry i went from toronto <laughs> i always mix it up ontario is where the is, is a province so that's where um ottawa is which is where the air commission office is and um i was staying in toronto so I, it was like a three hours drive last time i went we drove there but this time we decided to take the bus there um taking the bus was about three hours and the cost of the bus i think was about from toronto was about um fifty dollars um to go and then under fifty dollars to come so about hundred dollars is going to take you to, to and fro and then when you get there you might choose to take a bus to the location or you might choose to take a bus um or you might choose to take an uber or transportation within the city i feel like you might be able to figure that out with uber or with the bus um but yeah um i would also put the name of where we booked um the bus system that we use from ontario or from toronto so again i said like transportation um to the place depends on where you're coming from so if it's somewhere that you can drive to excellent but if you're coming from a place like vancouver or any other place maybe like edmonton you might want to you might want to fly and you need to like check um direct flight to ottawa or if you want to check flights to um toronto and then you will now take a bus to ottawa so um this that um i got i got those questions a lot the nin and the transportation system um another thing that you might want to keep in mind is that what time is your appointment so um for your appointment you might want, try to ensure that if your appointment is very early in the morning then i would advise that you, you probably sleep over in um, ottawa so that you can go early in the morning for your appointment and then if you want to return the step the fall um the same day that's also possible um that's 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 what we did for my husband because i think his appointment was 10 a.m and because of the weather forecast we know that um even driving there would not be safe um so we decided to take the bus and taking the bus we know that there would be some iggy aga that might happen maybe the bus is late or any of those things which normally it doesn't really happen here but we just like to plan ahead so that's why we took we decided to go a day before and stay in an hotel we stayed in holiday inn when we went the ambience was good you might want to check hotels um that are close to the embassy so that your uber money would not be so um so much um right about now what i would just try to do is to just make videos about like um 
about um how to access those nin places or i could just leave the link in the bio if you don't see a video after this my conversation it means i've just left the um the uh, details in the description below this video so you can just check them out and book your appointment as soon as you you want to um other questions that um uh, how is this how is the place like other questions i've seen is how is the place like is it like nigeria system yes i would say that it is actually like nigeria um uh, <laughs> set up the first time i went there i really 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 urgently needed my passport so i couldn't even wait to book ahead and you would not believe that i cried that day because i tried to explain to them this is my letter from where i need my um where i need my passport from and i need it within 30 days and i need this um passport that's why i couldn't book ahead because i need to get this across to the organization i'm i'm, I'm trying to get my passport for renewed for and basically they didn't let me in they weren't they weren't listening to anything the gate man made me cry <laughs> story final that day but moving on someone someone that knew somebody that was outside they just said oh this boy, why she's outside please let her come in and they let me come in eventually and i got what i needed to do and i traveled back so inside the place itself there are different stages you're meant to leave your phone and leave your um bags outside uh, turn off your phone before you go in i think you're meant to take your phone but keep your bags outside uh, turn off your phone and then when you are inside try um they, they collect your old passports then they take you into another room where you do the capturing it's really something that takes within 30 minutes it, when, once you get in there you should be done all things um all things equal is that what they call it hey english oh, do do <laughs> all things being equal yes within like 30 minutes you should be done if you're actually in there so um but before you get in there you might have to queue outside the day i went we went really i think my appointment was we're trying to get there early because i didn't have an appointment when i went so we tried to get them as early as like 8 a.m and then we were on the queue um before they open i think they open around nine um yeah and then inside there they just take you for your capturing like 30 minutes you are done that's if they don't have network issue and they don't have paper issue or any other issue you know how we are in nigeria <laughs> but yeah so that that's that's how the system goes if you have more questions you can let me know um the last time i did it i think i got my passport in about two weeks um this time around the one that my husband just did he got his passport in about two weeks also but we've had cases of people who got their passports in about in months three months six months so i think it really just depends on the time and what is really happening part time and also apart from going to ottawa i would advise that you check um your location to see if there's an option of a nigerian um like Nigerian Commission, High Commission actually coming to your city. I know in a place like Alberta, they come like during summer to um, Calgary because I think the Nigerian population in Calgary is really high. So they come during summer, but um, we needed to get our passports renewed as soon as possible because it was expiring. And that's why we had to go there in time. If you have more questions, I feel like I'm rushing and I'm talking. Your baby girl is hungry, dinner time, and your baby girl is hungry. But, but I just had to do this video because a lot of people have been asking me questions. I've gotten calls about, about this and I've gotten DMs and even comments about this. And that's why I decided to make this video. I hope this video helps someone. And then I hope you get through, um, you get your passport and you get it in time. And I wish you a safe journey if you're going to travel. Also, 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 that's all for now. Take care. Bye. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. And also, if there are other things you want me to share about Canada, kindly let me know. And then I'm going to make a video just for you.